Hello and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. This week's edition is brought to us by Indie Film America. For more information, contact Indie Film America at the address shown on your screen. We'd like to welcome this week's It's Your City guest, Deborah Stevenson, uh, the Education Curator at the Nevada State Museum. Welcome, Deborah. Thank you, Courtney. It's a pleasure to be here. We are so glad to have you here to talk to us about all the exciting things that are happening at the Nevada State Museum. Uh, tell us, just to start off, tell us a little bit about some of the things that people might not know about the museum. You know, all right. Just introduce the museum to us. One of the things that some people don't know is we're actually the historic Carson City Mint. It was the site of a money-making factory where they made all the gold and silver coins clear back in the Comstock era. So the museum was actually built to preserve and protect that historic mint. And then in addition to the Mint, we have exhibits on all aspects of Nevada history, Native American culture, and natural history, including geology. So, so not just history uh, since people have been here, but going back uh, to the geologic time here in Nevada, yes. which is very interesting. Exactly. We have a wonderful exhibit on the ichthyosaur. Uh, Shaunasaurus is our Nevada State fossil, and we have a, a smaller version of the ichthyosaur that we call a simple spondylus that's right on display above the stairwell. It's really an interesting uh, thing to observe. And then we have the Columbian mammoth, which was larger than the woolly. It's huge. And <laughs> died in the Black Rock Desert of all places about 10,000 years ago. Long before Burning Man. Exactly. <laughs> well, Deborah, the museum uh, is in downtown Carson City. Yes, yeah, super easy to find. Very, very easy to find. Tell everybody what, where it's located. It's actually kitty corner to the Carson Nuggets, so it's very easy to find. And we have a free public parking lot on Curry Street, which is just one block west of the museum. So, fun place to come. So. I would encourage everybody to go and check out the museum. If you're interested at all in Nevada's history, the museum is the place to, to go. But for some people who are really into Nevada's history and who are looking for something that they can do to really contribute to their community, you guys are recruiting volunteers. Absolutely. Um, a lot of people don't realize that you can volunteer in a museum. I wish I had known that. When I was a little kid, I lived close to a museum. I used to ride my bike there every week to see the exhibits, and I, I had no idea you could work in one. And so the training is completely free, and you don't have to have any experience at all. Um, we just ask that you bring curiosity and interest and a willingness to give back to the community. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And now tell me when this training is taking place. It's coming on February 16th and 17th, 23rd and 24th. So four full days of training from about 9 to 3.30 each day on all aspects of history, Native American culture, and the natural history, the plants, the animals, the geology of Nevada. And who can come? Um, really anyone can come that has the time to volunteer. Um, my youngest volunteer is 15 years old. But I have volunteers that are in their 60s, 70s, and 80s. Most of the volunteers, of course, have retired because they have the time now and the interest to delve deeply into the history that they've loved and never had time to explore, and they want to give something back. And this is a great way to do that. Tell people a little bit about some of the jobs that volunteers do at the museum. Well, the main thing is tour guides. We give tours for primarily school-age children, elementary school kids. They do study Nevada history and Native culture in the fourth grade. So we get primarily kids, but we also do adult tours, and not only at the museum, but at the state capitol as well. And so the museum volunteers uh, go to the state capitol sometimes too? They sure do. We give tours down there all the time. It's just a lot of fun, and people enjoy um, once in a while getting a little glimpse of the governor who might come out and say hi to the kids, so it's, it's exciting. That does sound very exciting and a great way to get involved in the community. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the training itself. There are some really interesting topics that are going to be covered as part of that training. Yes, every time we do the training, it's completely different, so it's fresh and new. So we encourage all volunteers, even if they've been volunteering there for 10 years or the brand new people, to all come to the training. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the commissioning of the USS Nevada battleship. So mm -hmm. there's going to be a wonderful lecture by Bob Nyland, our curator of history. He just makes it come alive, all about the history of World War II and the, the ship. And um, in addition to that, there's a brand new book out on Dayton history by Laura Tennant and Jack Fulmar. So they're going to come and talk about that. And then we have this really fun lecture. It's on, called J.W. and Annie Davis, Their Riveting Lives. You may not have known, but there was a gentleman named J.W. Da Davis who moved to Reno when it was first starting out. It was a railroad town. So about the time of the Transcontinental Railroad, 
he came to Reno, he was a Latvian tailor, and he opened up his shop, and a woman came to him and she says, you know, I don't know what to do. My husband keeps ripping out the pockets of his, his pants, his work pants, he's, and I don't know how to fix them. You know, I'm tired of sewing them every single night. And could you please make them stronger? And that was the beginning of the first riveted blue jeans that we now call oh. Levi's 501 jeans. So there's an amazing story and a genealogist named Kathleen Clements is going to come tell us that story about how what changed the fashion industry. Well, and, and that really did change, and we still wear jeans today. We wear them all the time, and, and who would have known that in Little Shop in Reno, that's where the Levi's were invented. Well, that will be really interesting for the volunteers to get to learn about, and then in turn to tell visitors to the museum about as well. Exactly. I think the fun thing is that the volunteers get to have a first name basis with all the staff and curators. It's a very warm, personal environment. They feel really privileged to hear these stories from not only museum curators, but experts in the field. And um, they, again, get to share that with the community, with school kids, with visitors as they come, and make history come alive. For people who might be interested in volunteering mm -hmm. uh, at the museum, talk a little bit about the kind of time commitment that they can expect to make. Um, we'd like people to volunteer at least uh, maybe a couple of mornings a month. That would be very, very helpful to us. We do do tours throughout the year, even in the summer. And, um, you know, the commitment seems to vary in you know, differently from each individual. Some of our volunteers, like our 15-year-old, can only do after school on Saturdays. Um, others are in there every week. So uh, the more you get involved, the better and the more fun you'll have and the easier it will be to remember what you learn. Absolutely. Now, talking a little bit more about uh, some of the things that the volunteers get to do, it's not just about work. Right. We have potlucks at the training. We do that each Tuesday of the training. And uh, it's just amazing the incredible food everybody makes. We also sometimes go out and do field trips. We've gone out to uh, the Churchill County Museum. We've gone to the Gatekeepers Museum at Lake Tahoe. We've uh, gone to the Nevada Museum of Art. We, we go out different places. We've even had field trips to the Carson River or Washoe Lake to look at birds. So uh, it's a lot of fun. We, we get out there in the community and uh, learn. And you know, people make deep friendships at the museum. Fantastic. Now let's just uh, recap so we can make sure everyone has the information. Tell sure. us again the dates of the training. Okay, the dates are the 16th, 17th, 23rd, and 24th, but we do require advanced reservations, so you need to either call or email me. My phone number is 775-687-4810, extension 237, and the email is Diaz and Deborah Stevenson, S-T-E-V-E-N-S-O-N, at nevadaculture.org. Or you can always just Google Nevada State Museum. There'll be some information on the training at our website. All right. And what is, uh, what is the time of those trainings? Well, it starts at 9 in the morning, so it's best to come maybe about 845, because we always have great coffee and donuts for you. And uh, kind of settle in, say hi to everybody. We'll give you a notebook, all the materials that you need and um, show you how to become a great tour guide. That sounds fantastic. Deborah. is there anything else you want to share with us about the museum? Well, I just wanted to mention that we're open every day of the week except Mondays from 8.30 to 4.30. Our location is 600 North Carson Street, again, right downtown. And um, I just think it's a best kept secret. When people come to the museum, they are amazed. They say, I lived in town here for 20 years and I've never been in the museum. It is so beautiful. Everything from the Maxwell car of 1907 to that Columbia Mammoth we talked about to the historic Carson City Men, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful facility. So if you haven't been in a few years, don't wait. Just come on down and have a look for yourself. I, I have been lucky enough to get to go to the museum, uh, and it is beautiful. Certainly recommend people checking it out. How much does it cost for people to come to the museum? It's $8 for adults, but for members, it's free. And also, ages 17 and under are free. So the memberships are very reasonable. Do we have time to mention that? Absolutely. Tell us All a little right. bit about the membership. What do you get with your membership? Okay, the memberships are so reasonable that if you just come a few times, it's well worth the money. For seniors, it's only $20 for a whole year. Individuals, 35 or 60 for a family. Gives you unlimited free admission to the museum anytime, any program, 15% off in the museum store, and um, of course, special invitations to exhibit openings. Absolutely, and just 15% off in yes. the store because there are some very interesting things. Absolutely, beautiful books, everything to do with Nevada history. Right. And so uh, memberships, 
Uh, where can people go to get a membership? They can just go right online to the website. It's just uh, museums.nevadaculture.org slash nsmcc. All right. Uh, we'll put that uh, up for people to, to log on and check it out. Um, also, I wanted you to tell us a little bit about the lecture series. Yes, we have an amazing lecture series. The fourth Thursday of every month we have lectures. So in February, we're actually going to bring back that same speaker that's going to talk at the training, Kathleen Clements on J.W. and Annie Davis, The Riveting Lives. But each month it's something different. Sometimes it's history, sometimes it's natural history or archaeology. For instance, in May, our curator of anthropology, Jean Hattori, is going to talk about fishermen's caches in Winnemucca Lake, which is clear up by Pyramid Lake. Amazing find of these beautiful basket weirs and such. Um, in June, we're having a lecture on backpacking in Nevada and California. So for the outdoor set, find out where to go, where are the trails, what do you bring, how do you prepare for packing. So. Um, every month it's something different, it's a lot of fun, it's a way to bring in new audiences and a lot of people become a member at the lectures because they say, wow, what great lectures, I want to come every month, I might as well just get in free. So that's a good incentive to be a member. Absolutely, and, and really something for everyone. Absolutely. Well, Deborah, thank you so much for coming today and telling us about the museum and hopefully uh, some folks will, will be inspired to come and, and become volunteers. And even if you're not ready to be a volunteer yet, go downtown, check out the museum. There's a lot of great information and some really interesting stuff about the state that we call home. Thanks so much for inviting me to share with you today. It's just been a real pleasure. Thank you, and thanks to all of you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City. If you're interested in sponsoring future editions of It's Your City, contact Arla at the address shown on your screen. Thank you again for joining us. We'll see you next week.